Hey guys, it is Drew here at Card of My Own YouTube, and my website is ScrappyHappiness.com. The link is in the description below. And today I wanted to show you this really beautiful flower that I created um, using some SVG files, if you don't know what those are. Um, they're what you use for sure cut slot program for your Cricut if you have that. Um, it's called, it's by Craft Edge. You can purchase it at craftedge.com. It's called Sure Cut Slot. And I have the file available for these um, flowers to be downloaded on my website. And I created these flowers. And they're already all ready to go, already laid out on the mat. All you have to do is press cut in your Sure Cut Slot program. And I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use that if you have it already. But I'm going to show you how to create this flower. And you guys can use other dyes for it, kind of something similar to this flower look, maybe even the Tattered Florals by Tim Holtz, I'm not really sure. I don't have his dyes or anything, I just got my big shot though. But isn't this flower beautiful? I love it. So I'm going to show you how to create that flower. Um, so first off, uh, you're going to need to cut out the six images, and these are probably around three and a half inches big. They're pretty big sized flowers. And then it goes, you're going to have two of the big flowers. Um, two of these medium sized flowers or the medium larges and then you're going to have one of the medium it's just one a little bit smaller than the um, medium and then one of the smalls and the small and the small uh, medium or you're going to need the two largest flowers and the two second largest flowers for the actual flower part and then for the center bud you're going to need the two smallest flowers so what we're going to do is I cut these out on some paper I got a while ago for Christmas um, I'm not sure the company I think it's die cuts with a view but I'm not sure and it was from a scrapbooking like kit a card kit one second I have a little bit of tape on this and I will be doing a lot of editing throughout this because there's lots of inking and spraying and stuff but first what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm going to spray these with the Meadow Green Glimmer Mist by Tattered Angels as well as the Olifine and this is just a little one ounce like sampler and it has a script in the background so like it's already distressed so I will meet you back here once I have those all glimmer misted. Okay guys, so as you can see I have the flowers completely glimmer misted and they're kind of shaded in a couple different colors of green if you could see that. Um, I used the olivine and the meadow green again and I just leave the back plain um, because you're not going to even see the back when you put it down on your piece of paper. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some ink from Tim Holtz, this is a Distress Ink in the Crushed Olive, and I'm going to ink up using the blender tool. I'm going to ink up these flowers, the just the um, basically the edges of the flowers. And it's going to give it a brighter color. And I'm just going to kind of do just a little bit in the center. But if you could tell the difference between these two flowers, how much brighter and more fun that one is, I'm going to do that on all of my flowers. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, I have those um, flowers all inked up, and the next step is you're going to ink them up in another color in a brown shade. This is where the tea dye effect comes in, and I'm going to use a tea dye distress ink by Tim Holtz, and that's why these are called my um, tea, my Prima Tea Roses, and I'm going to then ink up some of them in the tea dye ink, so it's going to look something like let me finish up one of these really quickly. You guys can use a little bit of a darker color if you'd like to, but I kind of like the rosiness of the, the tea dye. But if you can see the difference in like these two flowers, a little bit of brown in this one compared to that one, and I'm going to do that to all the flowers as well.
Okay guys, so now I have these all inked up and fun and all ready to use. And next step is to dry them using a heat tool or whatever you're going to use. So I will be right back and I'm going to go dry these really quickly. Okay guys, so all of the flowers are completely dry and they're just like paper again. And I'm going to set aside the two smallest flowers because we're going to use those for the bud and so I'm going to use those a little later. And I'm going to start off with my biggest flower and I'm going to take a paintbrush or something like um, that you could roll the edges on and I'm going to roll this back all the way to the back. So you're going to have this kind of roll and then I'm going to push it up to create a that one of the petals and so just do this by rolling your flowers pushing them up or sorry rolling your petals and pushing them up and I'm trying to get this in the frame here basically you're just gonna kind of um, push it up and then roll your petal so you can bend it up first so it sticks straight up and then you could roll your petal down and I'm just going to do this to all of my petals and I'm going to fast forward this part so you could see it really quickly. Okay guys, so I have them all completely rolled and created into these little bud type flowers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering them. So this, one of your big flowers is going to be your very bottom layer. And then I have another big flower. And um, you're going to add a little bit of hot glue right into the center of that flower. And you're going to kind of offset it and then press it down into your opposite flower and hold it for a couple of seconds. So it looks something like that when it's pressed in there. And you're going to do the same thing on your next flower, put a little um, dab of hot glue and again press down into the center of your next flower just pressing down to create this and then you can kind of roll your if they're kind of pu um, puffing out such as this one right here I just kind of like to roll it inward so it it kind of folds into the inside poof it up a little bit crunch it and then I'm going to do the same thing by adding my last layer on here I'm hoping I don't run out of hot glue so I don't want it to go over to my hot glue area get more glue sticks and then I'm going to press this down into the inside and again you're going to coil up the flower petals so it looks layered so now it looks something like this really dimensionalized layered flower and then what we're going to do is we're going to take you're going to have these two flowers and you can tell that this one is larger than this one and what you're going to actually do is you're going to take it and you're going to roll it around so that it's sticking outwards and you're going to put, poof it up into the middle so it makes something looks like this and then you're just going to kind of scrunch your petals together and I find that if you just kind of bend them out you can kind of roll them out if you'd like to give them a little bit of volume basically it's just kind of all manipulating it around and you're going to push all of it into the center and scrunch the center together to create this kind of um, bud and you could ink the opposite side if you don't want that side to really show but I'm kind of manipulating mine so only this side shows so that's going to be the bud of your flower and then on your next one you're going to do the same exact thing that we've been doing by pushing up on your petals just pushing these ones into the center and I'm doing it and then I'm going to add a little bit of dimension to the petals of the flower and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our bud here and we're going to hot glue it into the center of our little um, our little rose and I'm just going to kind of squish it up and put it over it so that it creates something that looks more of a like a rose center like this 
And again, I'm going to add this into the center of my my layer here. And push it down, scrunch it all in there, make sure it all sticks together. And then you're going to have a dimensionalized Prima rose that looks something like these flowers here. And then what I like to do after that is I like to take a little bit of the Wheatfield Glimmer Mist by Tattered Angels. Just going to shake it up a bit. And I just do a couple spritzes over the top of it with the Wheatfield. And that really gives it a shimmery sparkle if you could see that. Not really sure if you can, but it really adds a nice sparkle to it. So that is the technique, you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you use these on your projects. Have a great day and bye everyone.